Hello guys, our company released the new NetPeak Checker 3.0 and in this video I'll give you a detailed overview of the new main features. We expanded the program capabilities, developed the new tool and reduced RAM consumption by more than two times. The latest updates turned NetPeak Checker into the essential program for SEO and PPC specialists, marketers and bloggers, webmasters and even sales managers. So stay tuned on our wave to get acquainted with all the new features. The most important change in program functionality is new SRP scraper for Google, Bing and Yahoo. Using this tool you can get data from search engines for any list of queries. Also you can refine searches with special symbols and phrases. Let's take these three queries for analysis. Fly to Amsterdam, cheap flights to Netherlands and direct flight to Amsterdam. I chose three almost similar queries to show you how to work with unique feature of our tables, grouping by any column. Now it works for value in query column. When I'm turning it off, the table turns as the plain results with no grouping. So let's scroll to the host column and drag its heading to the special zone of the table. As a result, we get a report that reflects the main visibility for analyzed queries. By the way, you can enter much more queries. For example, it can be a part of semantic core of the internet shop. You can enter them manually, paste from clipboard or upload from txt file. Information you scrape from search engines does not contain only positions, but also it has title and descriptions scraped from the SRP, highlighted texts, search engine marked the exact matching keywords or synonyms in this way using the bold text, found site links in results and review in snippets that was created using the structured data. Also, either the result is pinned to the top, usually it's feature snippets. If it's so, the result will be marked with the true value in this column. And we have three columns left at the end of the table, host, query and search engine. Using them, you will ease grouping, sorting, filtering and different results from each other. At the end, I want to add the query iPhone-site-apple.com to show you opportunity to work with special symbols and phrases. It works from the minus or site to the difficult grouping and combinations of them. Don't forget that different search engines may have different special symbols and phrases to work with. Let's go deeper in scraper settings. On this step, you can define search engine, which results do you want to analyze, number of results you need, you can set one of the presets, max number or custom one. Also, you can define either you want to add special snippet types as separate one to the report. It can be video, image, news or site links. In the bottom of the sidebar, we added four of the most important links to the configuration of Scraper. First one leads us to search engine configuration and here you can define the geolocation, country, language and time frames to get the necessary results from Google. It helps you with better local targeting, so-called local SEO and exploring search engine results for necessary region. Bing and Yahoo doesn't have it because of the specifications of these systems. Next step that you will use during the work with Scraper is CAPTCHA. Here you can enter a key from automatic CAPTCHA solving service anti-captcha.com and functionality of the program gives you opportunity to watch the balance on this service without distracting you from your work. Automatic CAPTCHA solving is one of the main features when you work with bulk search engine checks. Another feature is using proxy for sharing a huge amount of requests among several IPs and to decrease the amount of requests from your one. You can add list of proxies, check their internet connection and 
either they are blocked by any search engine and these two features together gives you the best solution for capture solving during a huge SRP scrapings. Let's continue our tour to elements on tool control panel, which you will use when working with retrieved data. First two buttons are transfer URLs and transfer hosts. They add scraped results to the main table for future analysis. Moreover, the tool saves the data during the current session. Even if you close the scraper and open it again, received data will be saved. But please note, after you completely quit the program, all the data will be erased. So, to save the data on your computer, you can use the following buttons. First one is save URLs. It creates txt file with all the scraped results. And second one is export. It downloads the current table. If you have applied any filters, it will be used when exporting. Some useful things are also placed in the shortcuts. You can call for it with the right button click on any cell of the table. When you want to open URL in browser, it opens the selected page in the default browser of your computer. When you want to filter by value, it immediately cuts off the pages with parameters that are not exactly matching the value used for filtering. This feature also available for the main interface of the program. You can also use it when you want to transfer the current URL to the main table or transfer the group of URLs to the main table for future analysis according to the parameter of NetPeak Checker. And if you want to open the SRP, it allows you to see the request that has been sent to receive the data. Let's switch to the main interface of the program. We've changed control panel and move parameter sidebar to the right. When you click on any parameter or a group of parameters, you will see the detailed information about it in the bottom info panel. By the way, if you click on any cell of the table, you will see all the retrieved data for the current page here. Some changes also have been made for URL Explorer tab. Now you can see the whole filtering condition and percentage of matching pages. If you often use the same results filters, you can save them as templates for quick further use. Tables now have a quick search feature, which helps you to look for entered value within all table columns. As you like, quick and accurate. We have also added parameters templates. You can use presets or create your own templates to quickly select a lot of necessary parameters for analysis. By the way, after clicking on a parameter, the table will be immediately scrolled to it for a quick surfing in large tables. Try to find the necessary parameter and click on it. The most popular combinations have been added as presets for the further use. First one is all free created for quick selection of all parameters that do not require paid subscriptions. We also checked most parameters as you can get this data for free, but only after you are signed up and have a unique access token on Moz. Next one is link building, helps to evaluate websites for further link building. It works best with search engine scraper as you can find interesting websites for cooperation in few clicks. Drop domains basic and drop domains extended allows a two-step search for drop domains with expired registration date. Use the first template for cutting off the domains that will not match your search, maybe according to response status code and IP addresses, and then analyze the rest deeper with an advanced template. And the last template is context search. It's used mostly by sales teams for lead generation. You can find websites of potential customers using search engine scraper and extract their emails from source code using the parameters on the main interface of the program. I want to remind that during the analysis of any page, 
you can get a list of emails, links to the social networks, analyze their href lengths, and analyze the language of current page. So let's go to the settings of the program. In Netpeak Checker 3.0, we visually separated all settings of crawling and external services. On on page tab, you can set crawling speed, user agent, and enter credentials for passing basic authentication. All these settings affects only on on page parameters. We have already gone through the search engines tab when we told about SRP scraping. All the tabs for external services are made for connecting Netpeak Checker to their APIs. You can enter your token here and check current balance. Plus two tabs created for adding and checking proxies. Users often ask us how to avoid limits of different services like search engines. That's why we decided to make a research to find an optimal amount of requests and used proxies for bulk SRP scraping. As a result, we have implemented proxy and ban algorithm. It helps us to use your resources with a good performance and much lower risks. And now let's talk about not so bright changes. We improved the export and now you can upload so-called snapshot. You get a table with all your sortings, groupings, quick searches or filtering. By the way, if you export XL6 format file that contains more than a million lines, Netpeak Checker will divide the data array into several files. Note that you can export reports in Excel 6 and also in CSV format. In the end, I want to show you features well known to Netpeak Spider users that we also added to Netpeak Checker 3.0. First one is opportunity to recheck values, rows and columns. This opportunity has been added into the main program interface to restart the analysis of necessary data. Next one is opportunity to open URL in services like Google, Serpstat, Ahrefs, Google PageSpeed or mobile friendly test. Additionally, we included OpenRobots.txt option that works the same in Netpeak Spider. It opened this file in the root folder of the selected host. Next change is monitoring of memory limit. If you have less than 128 megabytes of free RAM or disk space left, the program will automatically stop the analysis, preventing data losses. Next change is if the analyzed pages responses with redirect, Netpeak Checker will follow it to get on page parameters from the source code of target page. Previously, Netpeak Checker didn't follow redirects and couldn't get this data. And the last change is multi-window. This feature allows you to work with different projects simultaneously only if your computer is able to do this. And in conclusion, I want to say that Netpeak Checker gives you a lot of new opportunities. Do not miss a detailed overview by our CEO Alex Weiss. Sign up to get a 14 days free trial, no limits, no credit card required. I also want to remind you that our support team is always glad to answer your questions that might appear when testing our programs. So wish you a bright race of traffic to your website.